my name is Sergey. I'm a manager in CKI team. So uh, this speech will be mostly from a manager's perspective, like mostly from manager's perspective, from communication and less about like technical details. So the CKI team, uh, what we are doing? Like CKI team is continuous kernel integration team. Uh, mostly we run pipelines, uh, run tests, like and providing results to uh, our customers and our customers are uh, software engineers and QE guys. So uh, that's how like pipeline looks like. And uh, what things help uh, us to be like on the level to, to be like, uh, to keep our quality uh, on the like high level. So it's internal design and collaboration with other teams. Uh, so if we're talking about internal design, it's about documentation, linter tests, code reviews, and metrics. So if you improve it uh, in your project, so you will definitely increase your quality. So let's talk about documentation. It's a simple thing. It should be up to date, and uh, that's pretty much it. So if you, we have like rule. If you see that we don't have uh, like documentation for for some stuff, so please add it. If you see outdated like documentation, please uh, update it. And that's like pretty simple. If you see like some uh, issues in documentation, so please fix it. And uh, it's like rules that everybody follow in, in our team. Uh, the next, linters. Uh, guys implemented linters and our life uh, became much better. Because as an open source project, uh, we want to keep our like uh, code in the same style, like everything. So having linters, uh, like it really makes our life easier. And also we have like excuses for people who just want to contribute to us and uh, their code like, uh, doesn't work in the proper way or there are some issues. So linters is the first like stage to figure out what was the problem. So uh, in our like CKI project uh, in general, we have like uh, small uh, tools and each tool has its own linters in there. So yeah, we set it up like uh, in, in that way. Also tests, like each project like should have tests and uh, they should run run automatically with, with linters. And uh, also the, uh, the thing here is a uh, coverage report. So each time you uh, add new feature or make some fixes or change uh, some bu business logic, so you just add test to it. So we also like have this rule and uh, we also check like coverage. So if coverage like stays the same or just uh, increased, it means that it's good. If like it decreased, so like uh, it uh, won't go <laughs> further. So you need to add like tests for all, all of your like changes. And code review, it's the main thing here. And uh, like you, you can omit like linters, you can omit tests, but code review like should present here. Uh, in our team, it's, uh, like I would say mandatory, if you have, uh, if you create some changes, some merge requests, so uh, another person should uh, review it. Like, and here is an example that uh, like, it's not about like finding some mistakes or just pointing on that like another person doing something wrong. It's about figuring out uh, like how things work and why those changes were made. So. Uh, here in this example, like particular, we see that like guys like really asking about like uh, like doesn't matter like and can it be like replaced it in other way? Why you did so? So it's uh, the main thing. So you just ask like questions if you don't understand something, and then uh, it would be like much better uh, for understanding. Okay. Also, we have metrics. So like. Uh, we have like I would say a lot of metrics and uh, like really 
it's up to you how how many metrics uh, you have but uh, it's easy for us when you when we like see what is going on in the project so we can have like different kind of metrics we can operate it we uh, visit we can like uh, grab some data analyze and so on so yeah if you add metrics to it, it it would be like much easier and your quality will be higher on the project okay uh, let's uh, take a look at uh, at the pipeline flow so here in uh, in that like square uh, it's like our responsibilities like uh, so when people create merge request we make some builds we run uh, pipelines and uh, we provide some updates to Bugzilla and then we just uh, uh, like send the message that it's ready for for be merged uh, once we have like several such merge requests so it's uh, like uh, merge in, in one after some period of time and then it uh, like goes uh, like it merges to kernel and goes further so you see here like uh, QE teams and uh, like those QE teams they do also like their own testing so here like starts collaborating with like other teams basically we could run those pipeline and forget about everything forget about results for forget about bugs and issues and so on so we just like let's say we run pipeline found like several tests and just okay we provided you with results and forget about it but uh, we behave proactively and we like starting triagen tests so what it means it means that uh, each test should be known like if we found some new issues some new issue so we we just uh, like triage it and uh, it will become a, a new issue so and all the tests uh, all, all the issues that we have we just know what exactly its issue and then we uh, actually went further like we started monitoring those issues that appeared there and you see this uh, like column with count number it's how many times issue appeared uh, like in this case during uh, last seven seven days so the last week we hit like those like top issue like 56 time the second issue we hit like 34 time and so on so uh, that's metrics we had like metric we had and uh, then we started thinking okay uh, would it be like better to maybe improve it in some kind because only we know about those issues and only we know that exactly how many times we hit it and uh, we actually did one thing so we started sending emails about it like so we, it's like weekly email uh, about the issues we hit and uh, like how many times and uh, ab about like responsible person so people started know about like those issues and uh, they just aware that we hit it like several times per week and uh, that's why they need to do something with this and like after it it really like we increase i would say the quality of the product because people started like really uh, like fixed it like you know so now we have like three types of reports is uh, exactly issues uh, in kernel then we have like unstable tests a test that fails like each time for some reason M look like maybe uh, some some it's usually something wrong with the tests and we also started sending like fedora tests so uh, like i don't remember like exactly results about it but uh, for fedora tests we uh, like guys fixed uh, more than 60 percent of failed tests that we got in uh, in our project uh, we have plans so we want to keep like everything in one place so uh, we started from the our own like metric dashboard then we started sending emails like people like respond to it and now we want to have like let's say in jira or something like that dashboard that everybody can see it and maybe everybody can uh, take a look and uh, pick up issue and fix it uh, also we want that uh, QE, uh, qe and uh, software developers started collaborating with each other so they just uh, usually they collaborate don't much you know and uh, 
it's uh, not really good, I would say. But in general, if they start collaborating like war about like uh, tests, about features, uh, and so on, about review, uh, it would be like much better. And uh, uh, we also <laughs> want to collaborate more with, uh, especially with QE guys, because uh, as a part of like uh, CKI is a part of <coughs> QE, I would say, and we are like QE because we are running tests automatically and providing results. So we basically work uh, in the flow of QE. So wrapping up, uh, we love cookies and emojis. We care about uh, test issues and we do our best to improve the CI system and kernel quality. Thank you. Questions? Please. How, in your opinion, you would make engineers and QEs to be as engaged and care about quality in this as much? Like, you know, that QEs are quite engineers. They <coughs> want to find the issues in the product before the product releases. How to instill that same urgency, that same um, uh, concern in, let's say, regular engineers, development mm -hmm. engineers? Uh, so the question was uh, what to do, like, and wh what to do to make, like, people, QE guys and software developers collaborate uh, better. So I think uh, to put one goal for them, like both, if people have one common goal, so they collaborate, like, really good in that. So that's what I think, like, we've been working on. And other questions? So thank you guys for coming.